Hello everybody uh, and welcome back to the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones and um, man, it's just getting hotter and hotter in Florida, but we're gonna tough it out. What choice do I have, right? So uh, today's video, we're going to be doing a color match of, I would say, my second favorite frog color. And before getting the triple injector, I've never been able to do this one. I've never even tried it, actually. Um, I would say my number one color is Watermelon Red Pearl. Uh, back in 2006, um, back when I was fishing a lot, just out of high school and everything, um, I caught my personal best on a Zoom Horny Toad in the Watermelon Red Pearl color. It's a beautiful color. And uh, like, you know, it has that whole sentimental value to me. So, um, second favorite color, back to today's video, is tree frog. And anyone who's ever uh, spent any time, you know, uh, throwing the, the zoom frog, has probably seen the color tree frog. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's it's red, green, yellow, and and then the colors play on each other. And it, it looks like there's ten different colors going on. And really, it's a three color laminate, which now we can do with the triple injector. You know, you can always hand pour the belly of your frog and then inject a regular laminate over that, but you're gonna have more straight lines. Um, but because of that, the, the only way to really get the colors to blend naturally, like Zoom was able to do, is to be able to inject all three at once and, and allow them to blend. So, um, that's what we're doing with today's video. I've got all my materials laid out and we have a sample today, like an in-person sample of the tree frog color. So it can run, but it can't hide. I think we can match it pretty well. Let's go get started. Okay, so here are the uh, tools of choice today. So we're gonna start with the mold. This is actually a custom mold. Oop. And uh, I haven't had it on here in quite a while. I call it the Florida Frog. I commissioned this mold to be made, I think it was 2014. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful mold. You can see my company initials, L-I-T-L, there in the foot. And um, it was made by a company called Lakeside Bait Molds over in Texas. I don't believe he is in business any longer. Um, but uh, man, he just, he did an incredible job. And uh, the, my only regret is that I only uh, bought these two four cavity versions. So I only have eight cavities of it, but um, you can get a lot of frogs pretty quick. But uh, obviously today is also another triple injector color. I don't want to like burn you guys out on the triple injector, but um, you know, I just, I'm having a lot of fun being able to do some injection colors that I've never been able to do. So. Um, you know, I'm just gonna ride this wave till it crashes, I guess. So today, like I said, we're doing tree frog and we actually have a real live example for a comparison. So, <clears throat> let's get one out. I mean, look at that. That thing is gorgeous. There's so much going on. Let's get another one, because there's always a little bit of variation. So we can see here, this one's got a little bit more red in it which is to say that it has, yeah, less of that green. You can see it's a real sloppy laminate, but that's kind of what I like about it. it this, this one almost looks C-blocked. <laughs> I mean, that is so inconsistent, but this one's a little bit more like you normally get them. But you can see the green, that, that middle darker green shade, the way it plays on that red. You can see there's no green up under that one and so that red's a lot brighter because it's only playing off of that yellow bottom so interesting you know those are out of the same bag supposed to be the same color so this one must have been at the end of the runner it didn't get very much green so we'll toss that one aside but um there again most of them look exactly like this and yeah that's super consistent right there so basically this is like a chartreuse yellow bottom sort of a emerald green center and then a red top with some flake you can see that there's some medium-sized black flake in there um, so this is the goal so we're going to leave one of these samples out and just kind of go from there 
All right, so welcome back. We are gonna start building our color. Like I said, we're gonna start with this dead on brick here and just kind of see what that gets us. I definitely think it is very close to the correct shade. Yeah, that stuff's pretty right there. Oh yeah. Boy, I tell you, that is close. Where's that one weird frog that where we can see all the red. Which one is it? Yeah, there it is. So, wow, what do y'all think about that? You know, once I put the black flake in that, I may not change this. Let me, uh, w let me get this flake in there real quick and just kind of see what we're dealing with. This might dang near be right on or dead on <laughs> get it all right not enough black flake yeah in fact this could already be a little bit too thick i might should have put less color in there but lesson learned i guess i just i want that flake to show up all right well you know if i look at this there's not like a ton of black flake in that and it looks super dark, but. But there again, this frog being so weird actually allows me to see what that red kind of really looks like on its own. And I mean, that is, if that's not it, then I'm probably not going to get it. Okay, so I have to get this green. So we're gonna start with one of my favorite colors, Works Emerald Green. I'm gonna throw some in there. Kind of see how that looks. So, here we go. Yeah. Oh, you know that plastic's starting to set up a little bit. I'm gonna have to, I might have to put these back in the microwave before I can really, really build things. But um, yeah, see, it's that's a little bit too kind of bluish by itself. Yeah, I'm going to have to, uh, let me heat these back up a little bit. They need another round um, in the microwave before I can really uh, build this correctly, I think. Okay, we are back and everything is smoking hot. So uh, I definitely want to thicken this up. So I'm going to add some more of the emerald green. You know, there again, that red side or the, uh, the red top is, is pretty opaque. Definitely a lot more pigment in there. So we want to try to get this one close to that for sure. And then I'm going to add some of this to brighten it. This is a really cool color, this chartreuse lime. And let's kind of see how it's going to change this. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's get a little closer maybe. Yeah. That's looking a little bit more like it. So let me get my sample out. And there again, the end of the leg is kind of mixed more with that yellow. So what we're going for is something about right in there. And it's close. Oh God, that just fell in the, uh, in the cup. Well, anyway, so. Yep, that's looking about right. It just still needs to be, I think, a little bit thicker. So maybe a little bit more of this and a little bit more of this. So anyway, we're going to stop there on the green and then uh, we're gonna build this yellow color and we'll be there. Okay, and so for this one, I'm gonna start with just regular yellow. This is just regular dead on sunshine yellow. Now, I guess that'll be enough. It last drop didn't wanna come out. And so that's gonna be our base. Alrighty. But then I want to slightly pearl it. And, uh, and this Yukon is, is really cool. It's gonna give it that pearly powdery effect that it has just a little bit in the, in the zoom example. Yeah, definitely need, definitely need a little bit more of both. That's, that's looking pretty see-through so far. All right, let's get all of this mixed in here. 
but then it's not a straight yellow. It's got a little bit of green to it. So we're gonna throw in some of that chartreuse lime. And again, I'm just trying things, you know. You can see I'm not counting drops or anything like that. You know, we're, we're basically just adding things to taste. And I'm just like, just like we're cooking up a new recipe, so. Which we are, I guess. Yeah, that's definitely where I wanna go with that. The only thing I'm gonna do now is maybe just thicken it up a little bit, and then I think we've got it. Okay, so top side on this mold is actually the right side. So I have my colors in the order that I want. And here is the trip injector. Ah, get it a little loosened up there. Let's go. All right, hopefully that worked. <laughs> ah. I did not get a full mold on the first one. I, uh, the, the injector was real tight and uh, I thought I had uh, given it enough gas. So those are gonna be complete trash, but hopefully these right here look good. All right, well, there's what the uh, blending block looked like. So you can see the colors there. The colors by themselves actually look pretty cool. So there's sort of what we're going to be dealing with. All right, moment of truth, drum roll please. All right, let's see how we did. See how we did. Hey, look at that. That could be it, you guys. You know what, here, let's zoom out, get them off. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. The, the uh, top color and the middle color are virtually perfect. So like, there's the zoom color. Yeah. That bottom color needs to be a lot thicker and brighter. See the difference? Okay, all right, I kinda know what to do now. That's really not bad. Oops. Boy, the tails are super close. I just, I need more of that belly color to come through on that tail. Look at that, you guys. Oh, man, I'm excited. I mean, that is freaking close. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, all we need to do is just thicken up that belly. And we have friggin' got this one, you guys. Here's that first mold. <laughs> Complete fail attempt. Love it though. And I think this is one of these colors that I think the hotter all three cups are, the more they're gonna kind of blend together. And that's actually a little bit true to the bait. It's not a perfect three layer stacked laminate. So, yep, fail. Okay, we're back. We added more yellow, a significant amount of more yellow to the yellow side and um, just make sure that we have them in the correct order. Yep, we do. And we're going to try this again and hopefully get both molds filled and hopefully they'll look a little better. Felt better. Hopefully it worked. All 
Okay, fingers crossed. Okay, let's see what round two looks like. Feeling pretty good about it. Let's see how we did. Oh yeah, that is definitely better. I can tell just from the top side. Oh yeah, look at those. Y'all, is that not tree frog or what? Focus, look at that. Oh yeah. Ho ho ho, fits right in like a glove. You know, this, the, that bottom color is still slightly different. I don't really know what they're using for that. That's, that's the only difference. I might could add some like white pearl, maybe, and get it a smidge closer. But you know, if, if we look in the tails and the feet, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely there. And it's interesting to see how a mold this shape, how it injects differently. So you can see the red, the, the red top, you know, just the, the symmetry of this mold, the red doesn't go all the way back. And, and really it doesn't go all the way back on any of them except for that one that didn't get any green. So you can see on my mold, the, the red, just whatever the shape is, you know, just however the shape's different, the red goes a little bit further back into the legs. So this one seems to get more bottom color and mine seems to get a little bit more top color. But I am super happy with those. And uh, yeah, without having the exact mold, it's, it's hard to get them to inject, inject the exact same way. But I mean, look at that, you guys. That ain't bad. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving this. Okay, folks, I apologize for being off my game. That first mold, again, did not work. It still didn't fill all the way. I, I guess I'm just not giving it enough juice, but that is painful to see frogs that beautiful that were so close to being actual usable frogs. Oh, gosh, I hate wasting plastic. Okay, everyone, for this last run, we're going to do one more of my Florida frog, and we are going to get it to fill, I promise. And then we're going to try it also, see what it looks like in my other frog mold, which is the Angling AI Atomic Toad. Um, if you remember, about a year ago, maybe, we launched this mold here on the channel and did like a name contest. Super awesome frog. So I want to see how it handles the three layers and, and kind of how it distributes the three colors, how far the red goes back, how far the green goes back, and, and et cetera. So uh, we're going to get two looks here, hopefully. And uh, here we go. All right, if that didn't fill, then I don't even know what to say about it. Yep, that definitely filled. Those two felt really good, so I think we will have um, some really nice frogs to come out of those. All right, we're drum rolling these because I'm that confident that both of them worked. Here we go. Let's start with the Florida frogs and just make sure that these filled. They better have. They did, thank the Lord. Now, wow, look at this. So I must have had my temperatures really hot, which I was going for, because we got a little bleed over that yellow bottom kind of coming into the top side there, which will probably look pretty sexy. Oh, yeah. Right on, you guys. There it is. Tree frog, baby. Such a great color that they came up with. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Definitely one of my favorite zoom colors. Bar none. All right, we're going to close up the Florida Frog here and take a look at this Atomic Toad right now. Okay. Let's see if I can get these off. I, 
tightened it pretty tight. Anytime you're using your uh, blending block or even your triple block and you know you're going to have to put some real force on it, definitely clamp or close your molds as tight as you can. You do not want to force flashing. Oh, wow. Look at how different this one did. So right away, um, you can see a lot more kind of bleed over, a lot more random. Almost looks like it was done with the C block. You know, so if we, however, if we look at that runner, that's, I mean, pretty much right down the middle, triple injected. So, you know, different molds, you know, the, the way the gates are shaped and, and the shape of the cavity, of course, are gonna inject things differently. Like I was saying, you know, the, the zoom toad here, the red didn't go as far back, you know, and, and some of that's just the shape of the gate and the way the plastic has to enter the cavity. So you can see on these atomic toads, it seems to be a lot more random. Now, if I really, really got my temperatures low and got them even, I could probably even things out a bit. But just doing it like I wanted to do it to try to get that kind of bleed over swirly effect that you see, you know, the zoom is imperfect. You can see there's yellow bleed over up into the top here. I like that. So that's kind of what we were trying to do here. It, it mixed it mixed together too much to a point to where it, it doesn't really match this anymore. I think the Forta Frog matches it a lot closer, but uh, hey, that's a pretty cool result. You never know what you're gonna get. Bait making is absolutely like a box of chocolates. Yeah, there's the money shot right there. That is thumbnail. So yeah, really, really, I think really, really great match. I think the red is still slightly different maybe overall. Um, it's, it's hard to say. I think mine was a little thicker and therefore you can see it doesn't darken as much when it reacts with the uh, green below it. You can see mine's a little bit thicker up there in the heads, but um, I'm, I'm just nitpicking it at this point. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry I was kind of off my game a little bit. And uh, actually, let's not forget the first round. You know, the first round wasn't bad, but you know, that bottom color, just not distinct enough. It, it just, it doesn't quite have all the hues that, that, it, that, that it needs to actually be a match. But I think in the end, we got it. And uh, you know, there's three different frogs kind of basically all in the same color. Um, and uh, you know, if you were just to plop those down, they all look like they belong uh, from the same batch. So um, I'm definitely happy with it. You know, this triple injector, uh, it's a lot of work. As you can see, I had a couple of boo-boos where I just, I wasn't um, get, getting it to, to fill. And, um, you know, part of that's just me being lazy. I didn't preheat the block, but I didn't think I needed to um, because it's just so hot out here. But lesson learned there, I guess. But uh, anyway, um, hope you guys have enjoyed. And of course, as always, let me know which ones were your favorite. Do you uh, still prefer the way that the zooms do it? Um, do you like my custom frog or the way that it kind of swirled more in the atomic toad? Um, kind of curious which one you, you guys think looks the best. I think they're all going to catch the same bass, whether it's this one, this one, or this one buzzing th over their heads. I, I think if, if they're going to bite one, they're going to bite all three. So the, the color is definitely there and a beautiful color. So um, as soon as I got the triple injector, you know, like I've said in previous videos, I immediately thought... Uh, I immediately thought baby bass, which there's a little baby bass hand for. And then I immediately thought rainbow trout, right? I still have these from, uh, from a previous video. So, um, and then my third thought was I got to do tree frog now that I can do it. So there it is, tree frog. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And uh, if you want to try this one at home, there's a good, there's a good formula and starting point to, uh, to use. And um, we'll catch you guys next time, of course, on the world's worst fishing.